Good morning and welcome into the Oklahoma's Video Studio. Dave Morris alongside my friends from the Boathouse District. Uh, Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Boathouse Foundation, and this lady right here, Kimberly Cavanaugh, Group Sales Associate. And there's some foreshadowing right there. You know, every week we talk about the various events mm -hmm. and the spaces that you mm -hmm. guys have out there. We're going to learn more about that this week. But as always, Mike, recap how have things been going? How's this past weekend? Well, like everywhere else, it was a little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it was, it's, it's springtime in Oklahoma. You never know what's going to happen. So, um, earthquakes, snow, tornado warnings, uh, yeah, fire. Bring it on. Yeah. So we, uh, how weird was Friday night with the smoke that blew yeah. in from the west side? Pretty, yeah, it was pretty, pretty, pretty strange. But, um, you know, we tried to keep everything going. We had our programs and we did have to close on Saturday because of the weather. Um, but, uh, we're open on, on Sunday. So for the brave folks who wanted to get out there and, there was, and so, you know, it's, it just kind of you never know what to, you're going to get this time of year, and we're uh, we're getting ready for uh, gearing up for this for the summertime, which we expect. Uh, you know, we're ready for that warm weather to come rolling in. We're in that cycle right now where during the week things kind of warm up and it's beautiful and yeah. it's as good as Oklahoma weather gets, and then on the weekends here comes another cold front. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we uh, you're like, yeah, yeah, Dave, I know. Yeah, and that 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 high wind that that's always fun too on the river when you've got we've got on our athletic side. You know, they're getting ready for all the races, and we had athletes that were in um, Cincinnati over the weekend racing some of our young uh, high school middle school kids and so they had to battle some of that win last week to get ready for the race but they did very well so we should remind people that at this point uh, you're open on the weekends we are open on the weekends yes until Memorial Day and of course we do um, group events and uh, field trips and all of that during the week right now but, um, but as far as the the adventures we're open on weekends and before we dive into more of the events and the group stuff, you also hosted a blood drive, which went well. It went really well. You know, it's, I, we didn't know what to expect. It was on the day it snowed. So, um, Go figure. But 68 people showed up and gave blood in, uh, with the Oklahoma Blood Institute. And, you know, they tell us that that's for every, you know, that's nearly up to 300 lives, you know, that that wow. impacted or saved. And so they were really thrilled by how many people showed up, that people that came, they got a pass to come out. We're going to do it again this summer with them as well. So um, we were really pleased how that went. So Very good. Mike Knopp and Kimberly Cavanaugh from uh, down at the River Sport Adventures area uh, this week here to talk about some of the various events and, and group activities, as he just foreshadowed there. That happened around around the calendar yeah you, you really we've talked about this before you have such a nice footprint yeah. down there of different facilities well we have all kinds of events that go on we try to make use of them and there's something every facility is different they had you know there's different sizes different types of um, events that we can host one of the things I joke a lot about is when we open the first building I I ne had never dreamed we'd have so many people getting married you know in, in our in our facilities and we have what we call boathouse brides you know and it's almost become almost a club of people that have become have gotten married in the boathouse uh, district, and so um, you know we're excited. About, we just it really is a special place to um, to get married, and it's it always. I was going out for a row about a week ago for one of those rare times where I, I, I and I walked out and I saw a couple taking their wedding photos right by the boathouse, and it's like you know it's it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. It's a beautiful place, though. The, all the facilities that you have, as you mentioned, they're unique, yet they are beautiful. They're well done. Yeah, you don't have to, you know, as a recent bride myself, one of the things that I really like about our venues is that you don't have to do a lot with the space. It's pretty. You have the view of the water. It's well set, um, yeah. So, yeah, you kind of have just that natural, really pretty setting. It is, and it's panoramic, too. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the mm -hmm. things that is... Um, Oh, I don't know, consistent about the spaces out there is windows and natural lighting. Yes, and our, our couples really love that, and our photographers really love <laughs> yeah. that too. Great photos, yeah. All yeah. right, well, Kimberly, I mentioned uh, the different event spaces, but uh, I'll, I'll give you a chance to kind of talk up the place. What are the different event spaces that you guys have out there and, and some of the uses that you've seen so far and, and perhaps some uses that haven't been dreamed up yet? Yeah, so we have about six event spaces. Um, including our Lake Overholzer Boathouse. Uh, that's right. And so we do, the majority of weddings that we do are at the Devon Boathouse and the CHK Central Boathouse, especially for those bigger guest counts. Uh, but the Finish Line Tower is also one of my favorite spaces, especially for like a rehearsal dinner or a shower, because it's on that fourth floor. And so you have that, you know, really pretty high up view. And uh, we actually got to watch fireworks there on the 4th of July, mm -hmm. which is was something kind of special. And you guys do have fireworks in a big way there. <laughs> yeah. 
It was, yeah, some of our uh, couples want to actually use them for the wedding, so that's... We've had some smart. folks, yeah, mm -hmm. get yeah. their own fireworks for, you know, yeah. so we work with the city on that, yeah. Hey, um, what size uh, do these different spaces hold? Just in case somebody doesn't know, you know, they hear us talking about this, are we talking 20, 100, you know, how big can it go, how small? It really just depends. Um, okay. It, you know, depends on how you want everything seated. The Finish Line Tower holds about 50 people, but okay. I frequently do events there that have 20 or 30, you know, you don't have to hit that 50. And then the Devon Boat House is our largest venue, which for a wedding, it just depends on how you want everything set up. But, you know, cocktail style event with everybody standing, we can do 300. Wow. Um, but with everybody seated, kind of standard style, uh, we like to keep it around 180 to 200 is a good number. I guess we should remind people it's not just an indoor thing. If the weather is nice, it can kind of combine with right. the patio space that you guys have. Yeah, what's nice is that patio space comes with your rental anyway. Okay. So you can kind of see what the weather is going to do and then plan accordingly. It's going to be there. It's not an extra cost or anything like that. What about catering or DJs, those sort of things that people would typically think of? For an event? Yeah, so we have a catering list and we've actually expanded it a lot this year. Um, so it gives you some good options and that's great because they're all so familiar with our venues. They know our policies, so it's pretty seamless working with the caterers. And as far as any other vendors, we have a list that we recommend. Gotcha. Um, just because we know it's kind of a lot, you know, yep. planning and everything. It's You don't really know where to start, so we're happy to help. But other than that, there's no requirements. And people that you guys have worked with in the past, they yes. kind of know the lay of the land mm -hmm. and everything. So that's a good way of looking at private events and parties, but what about the businesses and the corporate side of things? Yeah, we do a lot of those too. We see a lot of those during the week. Um, and it's just kind of the same. We have a lot, um, especially in the CHK Central Boathouse, is really well set up for corporate events because there's a big projector screen yeah. and there's a stage. Um, so we see a lot of corporate events in that space, but in all of our venues, really. And that's something that you've talked about before is, is really building into the team building and uh -huh. the corporate side of things as well, just an, another source of revenue, but also yeah. another program that you yeah, guys and, offer. You know, there's, we have a lot of things we can package. I mean, even with their weddings, you know, what mm -hmm. brides can come out and get in shape, you know, before the wedding and <laughs> get, get one of our programs or, or, uh, or come out with the family and go whitewater rafting, you know, before. So, you know, pretty unique dynamic there, but then with our, our all of our group events, when you have a business meeting, you can pair that with going, having a team building experience, whether it be in, a, in rowing or whitewater or ropes course, we have, or we, have, we have a lot of different options for team building. Uh, I guess that's another way of saying that too. It's, yeah. it's not just the meeting space, but it's also the, the healthy yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, way that people can get yeah we active even out there. we had a group out um, that actually just did a tour of the National High Performance Center along with their event so that was a fun way to get them to see everything that we have and hopefully come back another time all right how can people get in touch with you guys and say hey Kimberly I need to know more about this or I want to rent something uh, the best way is just to email info at okcbf.org and somebody on the sales team will get back with you about you know a team building, a venue rental, a bunch of group passes, pretty much any group event that you're planning. If you'll send in an inquiry there, we'll get back with you on that. Good stuff. As always, you have fantastic crew that you work with. Uh, we'll a good get, team, yeah. We'll get you out of here on this. Uh, you mentioned the uh, the bike park has some um, yeah. some uh, a facelift, an overhaul happening this week. Yeah, in advance. Some, with some new features coming in. Um, well, as you know, we've talked about we're having a world championship qualifier for pump track, Red Bull pump track world championship in May. So we're continuing. This is kind of a work in progress, our, our bike park, but um, we've got a world class pump track, you know, with the asphalt kind of rolling hills and it's, it's for long boards, bikes, skateboards, but it's been very popular. So we're, this week we're going to be putting a sealant on it, a blue uh, sealant with um, racing lines to get ready for that big event and that's something that will really kind of take it up another notch but also we're really excited to kind of unveil over the next uh, month or so the expansion continued expansion of the bike features in the park we have uh, really just three or four different experiences you can have we've got the big pump track we've got a mountain bike skills park that will open which is a, a really go, you go back in the trees there's different features that you can go through and and different lines you can take a kids bike area uh, so smaller features for small children and then um, Subaru, Subaru momentum pump track which is a different type of track in, in there so uh, you can spend hours in our in our bike area and that's it's it's a really really cool thing we have so. 
All right, good stuff. That'll do it for this segment. Mike Knopp, Kimberly Cavanaugh is talking about things happening at the Boathouse District. And again, if you need more information about event space or things coming up, perhaps some season passes, you can go to their website at riversportokc.org that you see right there. Kimberly, great job. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Appreciate great your time to meet this you. morning. Mike, good job as always. Thank you, Dan.